Welcome, future Broncos and parents. I am Dan Weber. I'm the department chair here at East Forsyth for the Social Studies Department. I kind of want to walk you guys through um, what it's going to look like for the next four years for you and your student. So one of the best ways to kind of get an idea what happens here is if you go to the link course sequence, here's the, uh, the link right here. And this is going to kind of walk you through it. But what I've done is I'll go ahead and put it on the next page for you too. So their first year as a freshman, they have a couple of options here. One is obviously they're both going to have to take some sort of an elective. It is an elective. Um, one, they could take geography, and which is a half semester course, and then take U.S. Film and History, which is the other half. Or they can elect to take a year-long course, which is AP Human Geography. Those are kind of your first year. And AP Human Geography kind of sets them up for AP World, AP US, and AP Government. But it can also set them up as far as World History, US History, and American Government Econ as they walk through it. Both of these courses, their first year, are really there to kind of give them a good foundation for their social studies career. So let's kind of, let me go to the next slide. So this is what you're going to find when you go to the course sequence. And then we go to the next one. We look at their ninth grade year. So here are their options. AP Human Geography, this is a year-long course with an AP exam at the end. Now, the AP exam at the end gives them the ability to earn a college credit if they receive a three or better. Now, not this is not guaranteed. Obviously, it's college-specific, but most colleges that I've found do give them a credit, uh, three credits for, uh, for a three or a four, and some colleges will do a four credits if they get a five or better. Now geography and film is also, these two are really good courses to kind of also set their foundation. So they'll be half courses. This kind of walks them through geography, a little bit of politics, econ, gov. So this is a good foundation for their freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. U.S. film will teach them how to write better um, using document base, which is going to be more of your film. Uh, their 10th grade year, they're going to take world history, obviously, that's going to be a culmination of the world, really focusing on Europe, uh, Russia, China, and some in Africa and South America. But there will be a lot of focuses there. AP World is going to give them a, a more of a writing intensive course to help them understand to how to apply things. And then from there, they'll go to U.S. History um, or AP U.S. History. These both are going to talk about, obviously, the beginning of the U.S. One is going to be more writing intensive. So both of these AP courses that you're looking at here will um, give them the ability to get a college credit if they score a three or better. These are both required courses, so this will be their 10th grade year. They will take World History or AP World History. Their 11th grade, they'll take U.S. History or AP U.S. History. Now, one thing I don't have on here is their senior year. The only reason being is because we don't really have any seniors yet. But as they move on to that, the course requirements that we saw at the beginning, you'll see that they'll be doing government or and economics. Those are both semester courses. Or they may choose AP Gov and AP Macro and Microeconomics as well. As far as what comes next is we're looking at the, our electives. We do have three electives. Now, the first two that you see on the list is African American Studies and you. Women Studies in the U.S. Those are coming soon. We're actually in the process of piloting these over and building this course over the next year. So looking at the year 2022 and 2023 for those two courses. But for our, uh, a lot of 10th and 11th graders, they're elected. A lot of them like to take this AP Psychology class. It's a really good course and kind of sets them up for those that choose not to take AP World. They like to take AP Psychology because it gives them another AP course and really helps to develop them. So here's my email if you have any questions. It's dweber at forsyth.k12.ga.us. And here's obviously a couple ways you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I look forward to you guys heading east.